In tonight's Military Watch report, we are taking a closer look at how Navy ships get their names. Traditionally, there are different naming conventions depending on the ship class. Some recognize states or cities, others for Navy heroes or presidents. Sometimes there's a push to get a ship named for a specific person. That's what's happening right now. A group of veterans and civilians are pushing to name a ship for this man, Telesforo Trinidad. The Filipino sailor earned the Medal of Honor for his actions more than 100 years ago, rescuing two of his shipmates when the USS San Diego caught fire. And there is a push to name more ships for Navy heroes. You may recall last year, the Navy decided that the next Ford-class carrier, CVN-81, will be named for Doris Miller. He was a hero of Pearl Harbor. Miller was working on the battleship USS West Virginia. When that attack happened, he jumped into action, helping injured sailors and manning a machine gun to shoot at Japanese attackers. Miller takes the gun and he shoots. Now what's extraordinary about that is, as a mess attendant, normally his uh, battle station would have been to hand the ammunition up to the gunner because blacks weren't allowed to be gunners to fill the gunner's mate rate at that time. The Doris Miller will be built here in Hampton Roads and will be the first carrier to be named for an African American, as well as the first to honor a sailor for actions while serving in the enlisted ranks. Now, while people can campaign to name ships to honor someone, ultimately is it up to the Secretary of the Navy to name or rename any Navy ship. On the Military Watch, Tug Carrillo, News 3.